Holy Ghost, thank you for your presence, for your power, for what you are yet set to do in this service. Yes, Lord. Lion of the tribe of Judah. Yes. I decree that I will not be limited by any principality. Amen. As your word goes forth, let the sick be healed. Let the Amen. blind see. Yes, Lord. Anyone online, Lord, let the same grace in this place. Let it locate them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do it and take all the glory. All the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Amen. John 6, 63. You online, you never say amen. Many of you. And most of you are, are members Mercy. here. I don't believe that you have to force people to say amen. I don't believe so that. Oh, like the video. Oh, say it. No, no, no. You are doing it for your own good. I'm talking to those online. Amen is your connection point. Or maybe you say it with your mouth. All good. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't, I don't believe that you must have numbers to prove that you are called. Right. I don't believe that kind of thing. That's right. I don't Amen. believe that. Jesus started with 120 and ended up with none. <laughs> so you can have a ministry and yet you have just two members. And you are Powerful. even more called than someone with all these members. That's right. I shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read John 6.63. Streams, please. The spirit gives what? Life. The flesh profited nothing. nothing. The words that I speak, that I speak to you, they are what? They, they are spirit, spirit and they, they are, are truth. Life. Sir, spirit and truth. They are spirit and they are life. It is your believing that is a connection point. And it doesn't matter where you are. Amen. It does not matter. Where you, where are, you are, whether you're online or whether you're in any other country. That's there right. are people online that can receive more than those who are here. That's right. So it's not your presence here that matter. It is your believing. You must open up your mind and be able to That's receive. Right. Amen. We don't receive in the flesh. We receive in the, the spirit. spirit. Because God is a spirit. spirit. And those who worship him must worship him what? In, in spirit, spirit and in truth. truth. Just say in one minute, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Kill my flesh now. Kill my flesh. Pray that prayer. Lord. Kill my flesh. Kill my flesh now. Ignite my spirit now. Kill my flesh. Spirit man, oh Lord. Ignite my spirit. Kill my flesh. Ignite my spirit, keep my flesh. Ignite my spirit, keep my flesh. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Holy Ghost. Ignite my spirit, kill my flesh. Holy Ghost, help me. In Jesus' Thank name, we have prayed. Amen. God wants us in every service to focus on His Word. The Word of God is God Himself. Unfortunately, we have Christians who hardened their heart during the Word. Someone texted me last week and said, I came to your service, you did not locate me. I, I, I thought you locate me. Did not locate me. Uh, you don't even reply those kind of text messages. Yes, you don't. I'm not yet to prophesy. Jesus. I'm not yet to prophesy. I'm yet to teach the infallible, word. everlasting, sovereign word of God. That's right. Not to prophesy that. <laughs> not to prophesy. And if you want to know, every word of scripture is prophecy. Every word. Every word. Many of you have come to my office and said, Papa, you're preaching about me, yet we didn't have a discussion. That's, That's right. your own word that came back, just that they did not call you one-on-one. -on -one. And this is what this generation does not get. Every time you despise the word of God, it's an abomination to heaven. Mercy. I'm telling you. Every time you despise the word of God, is look, nobody will put me under pressure. Nobody will put me under. Divine. If I say I want to pray for you, you have to wait till I'm led to pray for you because it's not my ability. That's right. It's not my ability. Not by power, not by might, by the Spirit of the Lord God Almighty. Almighty. It's not my ability. On my own, look, I am lost. On my own, look, I am what? Lost. Even me, I don't understand how I'm preaching yet. I don't know. So you have look, you are looking at a man to lay his hand on you. He will lay it again. That if you are looking at the spirit to lay his hand on you, the spirit lays a hand and you are free forever. That's it. Amen. Amen. There is power in the, the name, name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. 
break every chain, break every chain. Proverbs 28 9. I really want to teach today. Proverbs 28 9. Let's read together. It says, He that, let's read together. One, two, three, go. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. <laughs> let's read it again. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Let's read it again. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Every time you hate the word of God, you are making an application to allow your flesh to begin to love worldly things. That's right. Because anytime you leave here before service, you are not going to do anything for God. You are going to do something that will please the world. And that's not God, that's your flesh. It means you wasted your time on a Sunday. You have just stayed at home and do other things. Mm. Just like Mama was saying, that to, to cast out 10,000 demons, I don't know, I don't know how, what, that alone should make you sit there. That's right. And hold your hand and say, you will not come back again. That's right. How much could you pay for that yeah. kind of deliverance? Delivered. We are here to save souls. Sir, to save one soul, the Bible says, the whole heaven rejoices when one soul is saved. And if you are there supporting that soul to be established, that blessing will come to you as well, sir. That's right, amen. We live in a generation where people are too much in a hurry. Hurrying to go where I don't know. Seek ye first the kingdom of God mm. and all is righteousness and all other things that others are running after shall be added unto you automatically but you know what the church is doing they are running around like the gentiles That's the right. opposite of matthew 6 33 right. they are seeking first the things of the world right. before they seek the things of god we come to church when we feel like it we come to church when we have spare time we come to church when we have a need mercy lord and if you have a wife that every time she comes to you when she has a need, you get to a point where you say, enough. Enough. That's why I don't even like London. You go to London, you see people running around. Running around. Running. They, they will just see you and smash you. Go to the train station. Stop one of them and ask them, where are you going? They'll say, I'm going to buy bread. It has never been God. It has been man. That's right. Amen. Second Timothy 4, 3 to 4. What does it say? It is funny how you can go to an office and if they say sit there for three hours, you will sit. Oh. You will sit. Even if they add three more hours, you will sit. It is funny how you can watch a football match like Mama was saying, and there's prolongation time. You sit there and you are clapping, you are cheering. But when you come to church, you are like Mount Zion that cannot be moved. Even to see your smile is a problem. That's right. That's In right. the house of God, there is fullness, fullness of, of joy. joy. Some true. of you, you it's cannot it's smile. True. But let them see you out there one hour after. Mm. You can't recognize. <laughs> is this this? That's why I would, you, you bring a dead man to me. I'll say in the name of Jesus, wake up. As I pray, I am gone. He likes he wake up. He likes he doesn't wake up. It's not my concern. That's right. I am not a healer. Never been one. I'm not a deliverer. Never been one. Let the one that sees their heart heal them. That's, right. That's why the man stood at the pool for 38 years. 38 years, sir. 38 years is enough to even catch the angel. That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 38 years. Can you miss a whole 38 times? Because all his heart was full of complaint. That's right. Murmuring. That's right. That's right. Focus. No focus. 
your heart is the seed or the soil which the seed that is the word is being sowed on. Amen. If your heart is bad, you have a bad end. That will not be anybody's story in the name of Jesus. Amen. I, I, I started ministry. I, I, I am ready for ministry. Nobody can put me under pressure. Nobody. Amen. Nobody. 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 You know why they, they, you go to other places and they tell you, they, they cajole you to sit there? Because they are looking for your time. They are looking for that. They, they don't trust God enough that God can give them a new building. That's right. They don't trust God enough that God can give them all things that they are looking for. That's right. The secret is seek him first. Every honor I'm called for every one of you, but I refuse to be placed under pressure. Sure. They said, Jesus, your friend Lazarus is sick, he's dead. As, as a matter of fact, mm. just said, Let him be there. He went there after four days. Nobody puts you under pressure, sir. That's right. Because the same people that are putting you under pressure, when anything happens to you, you they, will, they will run in a flash. Don't be under pressure. It says what? For the time will come, these are those times when they will not endure sound, sound doctrine, doctrine. But, but they will be running their after their own, own loss. Shall they heap to what? To themselves, themselves to teachers, teachers having each in here. Now they want to hear only what they want to hear. That's right. I'll spend all night preparing for a sermon and someone will come and tell me you are shouting. Are you being serious? We, we know those who don't belong to a place. Of course. You don't need we, you don't need spiritual antennas to see. No worry. Don't bother. Whether you kill cow, you kill everything and give them. Go and kill and give them in the house every week. If they want to leave, they'll leave. They'll leave. Yes, sir. Don't kill yourself for people. If they want to be with you, they'll be with you. That's right. If they want to be with you, they will be with, with you. you, sir. It's no foundation. Don't kill yourself for people. There are people that are called helpers that will come to your life for a season. That's when right. that season is over, let them go. That's right. You are there holding on to what God has said is enough. It's Let him go. Release them. And you wonder why you are still stuck in one place after that. There are people that you never will go to your new level with them. Never. 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 That's right. Amen. Never, sir. Never. If I have to wait 50 years to win one billion soul, as is my mandate, I'll wait. I'll wait, sir. I'll wait and I'll enter in there with the right people. That's right. How much do you pay me for the healings? How much do you pay me for the deliverance? If you have ever asked you money for anything, put your hand up. How much do you pay? That you have to put me under pressure. You go to places every minute, so is it, so is it. Tap on the altar, tap on the altar. You are still in a place where they don't ask you a dime. Everything is provided. You are sitting here, electricity is 50 pounds in every service or more. Okay. Have you ever put it in an envelope, sir? This is for electricity. Way more than that. It is well. All we want from you, yes, sir, is sit down and settle with the world. Amen. That's all. Amen. That's all. God is truly a blesser. We've seen it again and again and That's again. Right. That's right. But take note, the same one that blesses can turn around and curse the blessings. That's right. We've seen it again. Over and over. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I keep hearing in my ears. Pray. Pray that Lord quicken my spirit. Lord, quicken my spirit to hear your words. To hear your voice today. Quicken my spirit to hear your voice. Quicken my spirit, O Lord, to hear your voice today. Quicken my spirit to hear your voice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not to hear any voice that tells me it's time to go. Quicken my spirit to hear your voice. Quicken my spirit. Quicken my spirit, man, to hear your voice. My spirit, O Lord, to hear your voice. Thank you, my Father. Help me, Lord Jesus. Holy Ghost, help me. In Jesus' name, we have prayer. Amen. I was even starting to say something that I said I would not do. So I just post that and I carry on my, my, my notes. You online, you are blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now the Lord has spoken concerning the month of May 2022. Amen. And guess what? It's not for everybody. That's right. So some, in this end time, you need the wisdom of God. That's right. Without the wisdom of God, you can do nothing in this end time. That's right. You can do nothing. That's why Solomon was rich. 
That's why Daniel was rich. That's, right. That's why everyone that succeeded in the Bible said, check their history. Wisdom was implied. That's right. Not intellectual wisdom. Not Divine. demonic or herbalist wisdom. No, sir. Divine wisdom from above. That's right. It is the wisdom of God that distinguishes one man from another. And then every time we say testimonies, those papers you feel, we go back as ministers and we pray, Lord, perfect them. That's why it's important for you to give your testimonies. Lord, perfect them. That's why Jesus asked, there were ten, where are the other nine? nine. That's right. Every time he healed them, he said, go to the temple and testify. There's a reason for that. That's right. Divine wisdom. The reason why you are still fighting in your marriage is because you don't have wisdom. I'm telling you, you don't know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't have enough wisdom. The Bible, that's what the Bible says. Keep asking for wisdom. If you lack wisdom, it doesn't mean you don't have wisdom. But you need to continue to ask. I ask for wisdom every day. Most of these things you see like this, I see them by the spirit of wisdom. Amen. Every day. When you start, and I realize that people are, they have enough wisdom when they are chatting a girl. They can buy flour. They'll know the Asda. They will, right. In fact, they'll go to Mark and Spencer where it's more expensive. That's right. That's wisdom now. Nah. That's right. And before you know it, one, two, she's falling. That's right. But when they enter marriage, it's like they lost the wisdom. <laughs> the wisdom you had before when you were chatting her is the same wisdom and more you need to have to keep her. Yes, That's sir. right. Yes, sir. Does that make any sense? Yes, sir. Don't say your wife talks too much. No, she doesn't talk too much. Ah. You've left her alone for so long. That's right. Wow. So she's reacting to what you did before and what you're doing now. That's right. Sir. Whether you know it or not, preach everything. You, women know that when they get into marriage, you should love them more. Yes, sir. That's right. They don't want to know whether you have a job or whether you are working. They, they don't want to know that one. No, sir. They are tired or not. They want the attention. Yes, sir. They don't understand that when you were chatting them, you were single people, so you had more time. Yes, right. But once you get into marriage, you must get a new job to make sure you keep them. You must do other things, projects, and they don't know that one. No, they want the attention. That's right. The same one. But there's a way you can tell a woman, darling, I'm, I'm doing all this for our future. Not that you start shouting at her. That's not wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Divine wisdom. We spoke last time about wisdom for financial intelligence. In this end time, you need, if you don't save, I'm telling you, I'm still telling you. Wisdom for what? Financial, financial intelligence. intelligence. Say a man who does not provide for his family is worse than an infidel. You need wisdom to provide though. Am I making any sense? Yes, sir. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we say, don't spend more than what you have. You don't work, you want train as 150 pounds. Who did this to you? Yet you don't, you don't have a salary. And I'm talking also to our parents. You buy a child a phone for, for 200 pounds, yet they have never worked 50 pounds. You think you are loving them, you are not loving them. You are, you are, you are sending them into the world. That's what you are doing and that's not wisdom. Am I talking to anybody? Yes, sir. Those who had deliverances, please, you'll see Minister Emilia and Pastor David after service. It's not enough to be delivered. If you go back to your normal life, God forbid. Hallelujah. That's right. It's not enough to be delivered. If you are doing sex now, when you're not married, run away from it because those are doors that you open. Yes, sir. That's right. You are doing lies telling, hypocrisy, bitterness, cunningness. Run! Because those are doors you are opening. That's right. And that is wisdom as well. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. my Father. Thank you, Don't Jesus. spend more than what you have. Thank you, Lord. Don't do what? Don't spend, spend more, more than, than what you have. have. Speak in tongues all you like in capital like that. Ah. Regardless of your age, your statute, your location. You know, there are 80 years old men and 15 years old boys are better than them, wisdom wise. That's right. So divine wisdom is not a function of age. your age, your location, your, your stature. At all. No, divine wisdom is a function of what you acquire and you apply. Yes, sir. That's right. It is the, what, the application yes. of knowledge. knowledge. You can still know it. If you don't apply it, that's no wisdom. That's right. It's even worse. That's why you can see a bank account money every day, but they are so broke. Hey, mercy. Zero. Yes, sir. Mercy. Zero wisdom. I know of someone who went to court recently. They are earning 120,000 a year, a doctor. Okay. But they were in debt for 1.3 million pounds. Hey, my father. Zero wisdom. I even doubt how they gave them that certificate. 
Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray in tongues all you like. If you don't have the ability to manage your finances, you have financial instability all your life. Yes, sir. And heaven will watch and do nothing about it. Yes, sir. You must have the ability, discipline that if everybody is buying something and you know you are not there yet, just majestically turn your back and wait till it's your time. That's right. Because men are in sizes and everyone is in his own season. That's right. Am I Amen. making any sense? Yes, sir. Please don't just follow people. Someone comes and says, Let's go shopping. And you know that your budget for that month is exhausted. Sit at home majestically. That's right. Read your Bible. I'd rather say you watch movies than follow them. That's right. Because you'll pay for it later. That's right. Say, I'm going shopping. They go to a, a place, Matt and Spencer. That's their level. It's not your level. And then you're just following them. They go and buy a shed worth 80,000 or 80 pounds. But yet that same shed is somewhere else for 10 pounds. All right, my father. Just go you where it is for 10 pounds. That is your level for the time. That's right. Because you're sitting like this now. Nobody knows what, whether it's pre max you're wearing or what. No, but it looks good on you. Primax, Stay on your lane. Yes, sir. Per time, per season. Hallelujah. If it is a Nokia phone you can manage for now, manage your Nokia phone majestically. Yes, sir. When you go to a shop where you see an iPhone 13, just, just act as if you were not there. <laughs> hate it, hate it. And even heaven that watches will honor you. Amen. Because God can never give you a million knowing that you have not been able to manage a thousand. That's right. The occultic kingdom can give you, yes, but not in this kingdom. No, sir. Yes, sir. He gives you a talent and he washes to see what you do with it. Yes, sir. That's right. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Am I making any sense at all? Amen. I spoke to Ross about a lion and the ant. How can you have a lion and then the Lord is saying, go and learn from the ant. You are likened to the lion of the tribe of Judah. Yes, He's not saying, watch the lion. He's saying, watch the ant. Yes, when it comes to financial intelligence, yes, the ant saves yes, in winter to survive the summer. The lion, an ant to mouth, just like some of us. Some of us, before the moon comes, we have already spent it in our head. And we don't save anything at all. For rainy days. That's no wisdom. That's no wisdom. Am I making any sense? Yes, sir. Amen. Number two, we also said we need divine wisdom not to surrender to challenges. As long as you are a man born of except something else gave, gave birth to you. But as long you, as you are a man born of a woman, That's right. you will face challenges. That's right. And the more challenges you face, the more wiser you become. Yes, Amen. David fought 66 battles. That's why he was so wise. 66 battles. And won every one of them. Why? Wisdom. Divine wisdom. Amen. James 1, 2 to 4. When challenges come, count it all joy. When you fall into what? Diverse temptation. Verse 3. It says what? Media, let's be quick. Knowing, knowing this, this that the trying trine of your faith will get patience. patience. Verse 4. But let, let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. nothing. In the church, you see, it's in the church that you see people that want to die. Say, I'm tired. I am tired. I want to give up. I remember a story, a, a true story of a lady. She yes. kept saying, I'm tired. I want to give up. I'm discouraged. And then suddenly fire caught the house. She had children. <laughs> she ran and left her children. <laughs> oh, my God. Then neighbors were chasing her. Madam, you left your children. You know one die again. Say, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Discouragement is a choice. Hallelujah. Because the same thing that is making you discouraged, someone else had it and pocketed their hands <laughs> and said, I'm ready for this. That's right. The same John the Baptist that a little girl shake her bong bong and they caught his head because of discouragement i think so mm. but someone else was in the same challenge who was that elijah of fire mm. elijah said if i be a man of god let fire come down the fire come down the same situation different scenarios discouragement is a choice 
Discouragement is what? It's a choice. Don't give up on your assignment. Don't give up on what God has placed in your hand. Amen. Whether you agree or not, child of God, every venture of life, everything you put your hand on, be it business, be it marriage, be it whatever you put your hand on, you will face challenges. Yes, you must have that mentality from the beginning. What mama had today is an attack, whether I see it or not. Yes, sir. It's an attack. Yes, but we are not moved. Uh, <laughs> For we are more so than conquerors. Yes, Except they'll, they'll keep trying. Does that make sense? Yes, but yes, we sir. are not shaking. Yes, we are not moved by what we see. Man, we are moved by what... They, when you see that kind of thing, self, a new car is coming. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Glory to She's God. She's overdue. Amen. I think, I, think, I think the angels thought I was being, I was being a bit too hard. So the angels is trying to tell me something that this woman has tried. <laughs> this woman has tried. Hallelujah. This woman has tried. Hallelujah. This woman has tried. You see, she was dancing today like nothing happened. You will not know. She was dancing for a new car. Amen. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. As long as you are on earth, you have a problem that you have to solve. Many times when you are about to go to your next level, you have what? A problem that you have to solve. You must solve a problem to succeed. And mind you, there is no rest on earth. I don't mean spiritual rest. There's spiritual rest. I'm at rest. I mean physical rest. You think when people died, even some of them don't rest. Don't you see people going to graveyards and cutting people's hands? So even in the graveyard, as a matter of fact, even nature is against those in the graveyard. You see, they'll put someone's grave and erosion will just come from nowhere and just carry the grave. No rest. <laughs> they didn't get it. <laughs> the only place that you have rest is when you are standing with Christ Jesus. Amen. No matter what comes, you are like, forget it. I know better. Mm. You are standing. Standing. No Lord. shaking. Amen. The only place where you have rest is in Christ Jesus. And I don't mean the Christianity of just coming to church and sitting there. No, warming the pews. No. I mean the Christianity of following ah, him daily. That's right. Say those that must follow him must do what? They must forget about themselves and take up their that cross was. and follow, follow me. Him. Jesus daily. took up his own cross. As long as you are in Christ Jesus, the Bible says be imitators of Christ. You have your cross to carry. Right. Amen. So this crying, the only tears in this kingdom that is okay is when the spirit of God falls on you. That's right. Any That's other joy. tears, Lord, I'm tired. You are wasting time. You are wasting. You are wasting your tears. <laughs> I am telling you, every time a challenge comes to you, you are you have been empowered to stand still. Amen. Stand still and see the glory of God. Please don't give up with anything. You may have started that business. Many times when you are starting everything, there will be challenges. That's right. Even Jesus Christ of Nazareth, when he started ministry, those days his, God sent him to come and save. They turned around and they fought him. That's right. So the beginning of everything, you will face challenges. That's right. You'll be surprised that those you thought will help you are those who will turn their back on you and go and abuse you. That's right. Stand still. That's right. Every time a man is fighting you god is assisting you amen every time men are fighting you god is assisting you amen what brings in that miracle at that time is the ability to stand firm in the midst of storms amen when you go through the water it means there will be a there'll be storms that's right does that make sense you don't have a position unless you have an opposition that's right you don't have a position unless you have what and opposition. when you are contesting for prime minister, there will be opposition. If nobody opposes you, don't go there. Run for your life. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say ne -ne. Ne -ne. The best of you will come out during challenges. Will come out during Say never. Challenges. You may never know. You may never know what you are capable of achieving. What you are capable of achieving until you face certain challenges. Until you face certain challenges. Child of God, I really don't know who told this generation that hatred is equals to stagnation. I don't know. 
Say, they don't like me, so I'm not coming to that church again. You are a Christian, but you are not born again. I don't know who told this generation that. No, not everybody will like you. Yes, sir. Not everybody sitting down here likes me. Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sure. Whether you like me or you don't like me, you cannot take the anointing from me. You cannot take the power of God from me. And to get it, even impartation will not keep it. You have, must pay the price. That's right. I'm telling you, impartation is for a season. To keep impartation, you must go and pay. And pay. That's right. So let them, look, many times when people are resisting you, that is when God is assisting you. That's right. The Bible says that when God saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb. Thank you, and Jesus. those who were mocking Leah were still barren. That's right. You don't understand. Let's look at that quickly. Genesis 29 3. Genesis 29 3. Genesis 29 3. It says what? Quickly, one, two, three. Go. And, and God said, 29, 29 31. Sorry. 29 31. Thank you, my father. Sorry, media. 29 31. It says what? And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened. Go and her prepare womb. for your child education. You guys can start at the but back. But Rachel was barren. What happened? Let's read again. And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb. But Rachel was barren. Those were mocking. They were still. God saw that Leah was hated. When God saw that Joseph was hated by the brother, what did he do? He favored him. Blessed him. Gave him wisdom. Gave him a coat of many colors. When God saw that King Saul was fighting Paul, uh, is it Paul? David. What did he do? He made him next in line. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Every time a man is fighting you, God is assisting you. Amen. You may not see it, but I say what? God, God is assisting you. Don't stand where they are and begin to talk to them. You, you are not going on the same road. That's right. So if they are mocking you, see nothing but Jesus. That's right. Looking up to Jesus, the author, author and, and the finisher. finisher. Look, I have made up my mind that every time my mockers visit me, they must say different. That's right. They must say different. In my every God ramification so of life. And to do that, you must be intentional with your Christianity. That's right. You must not look at them. You mm -hmm. must not be moved for what they say. Yes, There's right. a proverb that says that you don't back, you don't shoot a stone at every dog that barks That's right. on your way to destiny. That's right. Please focus on Jesus. Looking up to Jesus, the author. And finish up. Focus on your assignment. Every time you are distracted, you cannot hear God. That's why if everybody falls in a trap, you to go and fall. Me, in this ministry, people come and say, Papa, Papa, Papa. As they are doing that, sometimes I'm hanging on some of your roof, looking as you are talking against the ministry you are sitting under now. That's right. If I didn't have a heart for ministry, you come to that office and say, I don't want to see you. But it doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. Like that. God gives you a heart to love everybody. Regardless, look at King Saul, shooting arrows at little David. David kept missing the arrows, but he kept going back there. That's right. His assignment was not finished. Yes. David had an opportunity to kill King Saul, but he said, no, no. Even when they killed King Saul, they came to David and said, he said, Who, how dare you lay your hand against the anointed of God? Many of you, you sit with people that talk against this ministry. They talk against me. I just look at you and say, you don't know why you are still stagnant. If you are aware they are talking about the grace speaking for you, there are two things to do. Run or tell them, shut up. Yeah. Only two things. That's right. Sitting there is an application to be like them. That's right. Consent. How many people talking about ministers? If you look at them, they are suffering. That's right. That's right. Living from hand to mouth. I'm telling you, sir. Run for your life. What they are doing is they are trying to get you involved on things that does not concern you. A man of God may be messing up. Leave him with God. Mm. Leave him. The Bible says that spiritual things are not understood by a carnal man. Don't ask yourself with them. Thank you, Jesus. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Let's thank God for the word. Father, we thank you. Jesus.